Well, police told our affiliate in Cleveland they just uncovered the identity of a woman who was found dead 43 years ago. Peggy Gallick spoke with the woman's sister who says she is forever grateful police were able to finally provide her family with some answers. At least we know what happened to her. Judy Lopez spoke to me Tuesday by phone. She is heartbroken but thankful that police were finally able to tell her what happened to her sister, Patricia Eleanor Greenwood. I, I had a hard time when I first found out about what happened to her. It was, it was a horrible thing to learn, you know. Sandusky police say they have spent 43 years trying to figure out the identity of a woman whose body was found in Sandusky on March 30th, 1980. This is the area where the woman's body was found on the shores of Lake Erie, not far from Cedar Point Road. The woman had no jewelry, scars, or identifying items on her body. All police had to go on was this dress she was wearing. She was buried in an unmarked grave. First and foremost is for closure for uh, Patricia's family. In 2020, detectives again started to actively investigate the case and were determined to find out the woman's identity. They partnered with the Porchlight Project, a nonprofit organization dedicated to funding new DNA testing. We were able to work with other organizations like the Porchlight Project, Bow Technologies. We were able to get joined up with the DNA that came from that volunteer test to actually eventually identify a full sibling of Patricia Greenwood, which led us to um, identifying her positively. Police learned of Patricia's identity last week on March 30th. Exactly 43 years to the day she was found. That's someone's loved one. Um, and so we knew that we had to find, you know, there had to be a way. And as DNA um, continues to advance and there's advancements in technology, it was just the time to reach back out and, and pull this case out and, and start on it again. And Police say her death is considered a possible homicide. I find it very uh, personally um, Strange that a, a, a woman dressed like she would would just all of a sudden float up on the on the shore of a beach with no one looking for her. Um, I don't find that to be a coincidental of accidental drowning. In Sandusky, Peggy Gallick.